So today we have kind of a special uh, show today. Um, we've been uh, kind of challenging members of the church and, and encouraging members to come on and, and have a conversation with us. And it's been cool to be able to do some interviews with uh, former members who have left the church. But one thing we've really been wanting to do is to be able to interview somebody who is currently a member still in the church. And so today we're going to do exactly that. We actually have somebody who's agreed to come on, a current member of the World Mission Society Church of God. And and uh, today we don't we don't really know what we're going to do or talk about. We're just going to kind of start talking and have a conversation together and we'll see where it goes. Um, and so this member has asked to have his identity uh, remain confidential. And so um, I'm not going to use his real name. We're just going to call him Tyler uh, today. And so um, Tyler, thank you for coming on and, and uh, being willing to come on and talk with us. Oh man, it's it's a pleasure, man. Honestly, it's um it's a long journey that it needs to be you know completed. Yeah. So so you're a member right now, is that correct? Yeah. Yep. As of uh, August, was it August first of two thousand and nineteen? That was when I started, and you know it's kind of a still ongoing thing that I'm trying to actually get you know away from too okay at the same time. so you're you're in a place right now where you're you're in the church but you're you're kind of wanting to move away from the church yeah okay yep. so okay well that's interesting maybe just tell us like um why is that like at this point like what what are kind of some of the main reasons that are leading you to want to leave hmm well in all, in all, in like in retrospect, it's like um, I felt like it was a coercion. You know, like it was like a, a lot of like you know, mother said do this, father said do this, mother said do this, or this happens, or you know, father's coming soon, so you should do this. You know, of course, like the fear of going to hell is going to be like, damn. Well, I, I'm sorry if I said I, I like I don't I don't want to go to hell. Mm -hmm. Of course. So maybe I should do this in order to not go to hell. And like the way that they explain everything, the way that they try to describe all the details in the Bible, and like it, 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 it doesn't match at certain times. But then you just like at some point, I just said, you know what, I'm going with it. It it, 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 it sounds legit right here, but as soon as you start putting all the puzzle pieces together, you know, it's not it's not there. Okay, that makes sense a little. That bit. does make sense. Uh, I'm curious what. I think it'd be interesting to hear from your perspective, like even just one example of like where you feel like you're seeing them teaching the Bible and you're in your mind, you're thinking like, man, this just doesn't match. This just, this doesn't fit. Yeah. Like the whole, like, um, unsung whole thing, you know? Yeah. Like, it's like, um, Hmm. How can I explain this? You know, they say, you know, um, in the Bible, he came from uh, something that ah, I forgot that part. It's like the, the man came from the East. Yeah. Um, yep. You know, that would be the, you know, and all that. I'm like, okay, you know, east from Patamos, that is North Korea, so, sort of near there, like North Korea is. So I don't really know the, you know, geographical map yep. that well. You know, but they showed me, you know, oh, this is where it's at. I was like, oh, like that's, that's, you know, pinpointed I, to my knowledge. You okay. know, I'm not, you know, like I said, geographical. Um, and then I'm like, oh, okay, like this, the, it, the, this standalone, you know, sounded correctly. Yep. But then I'm like, I'm like, okay, what does that, what does that have to do with uh, Jesus <laughs> Christ himself? What does that have to do with um, the second coming Messiah? Yeah. At all, like it, it, even like, even you know, off topic, real quick. Even like I, when I was while I was in the church heavily, I, I like, I felt brainwashed, and I when I looked up, you know, Christ Unsung Hall. And I was like, I was like, yo, who, like, who is this guy? Mm -hmm. like, who, 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 who was this person before he, before this church started? And uh, like, before they said he was Christ, and yeah, yeah, before, like, who was this guy? And I noticed that he had like kids, and he had, you know, a wife beforehand, and he had okay. not even initially married this, uh, this woman, uh, Sang Jil Ga. I don't even yes. know name fully. Yeah, uh, we just like we literally just call her mother. Like I've asked. I asked one time what her real name was, and they said they said it, and then they never said it again. Okay, which is 
weird. I was like, yeah, and it was like, it was like we don't really call her by her her physical name. Her name is Mother. Okay. She was her mother. And I was like, oh, okay, like, oh, uh, that, I'm going to go with that. Okay. You know? <laughs> um, it was also, you know, at a time where, um, how can I be discreet about this? Things were initially like a tough, a tough time for me. Okay. And, you know, so I needed, like, I needed help and guidance. And they, you know, I, I'm not, I'm not going to say that they're bad people at all. Yeah. No, like, definitely they're, they're, not. They're, they're genuine hearted. You know, they, yep. they're, they, they care for people like full heartedly. Mm-hmm. Um, so you, first you said, you said you joined the church in August, 2019. Was that correct? Yes. Sir. Okay. And so, so what, one thing I'm curious, like, how old are you right now? Do you mind sharing that? Um, I'm 19. You're 19. Okay. So Mm -hmm. that's kind of goes along with the pattern of them going after kind of younger age. Younger age people. Oh, speaking of that, that's, that's a kicker right there. Um, that is one of the heaviest reasons why I left. I'm trying to currently leave the church right now. Um, they are, they're set on like, it's like a, it, it feels like an army. Yep. Because like they said, like, you can't preach to gays, you know, no disabled. They do say that? No disabled. Like, if, if you see a disabled person or someone who's mentally, you know, physically, basically what they say is they can't worship mother fully, you know, there's no point they in, tell in you preaching that? to them. Yes. They tell you not to preach to the disabled. Out of their lips. That's shocking. Out of their lips. That makes, me, that makes me want to throw up and cry at the same time. It shuddered my bones because I actually have a, a mentally and physically disabled little sister. Okay. And to see their reaction to her be her life force, period, mm-hmm. was just it it, it 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 sickened me when when I was like uh, I told one of the brothers I'm not gonna describe mm-hmm. a name or anything. I told him, uh, you know, dang, this is getting into detail. They're gonna know who I am at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're gonna, they're, yeah. Um, but he was, I was like, yo, can you like take me and my sister to my house? You know, both of my sisters. And then he was like, yeah, just like one of them. And I was like, oh yeah, no, both of them. And at first he was like, good with this uh, going with one. But as soon as I said the second one, it was like an issue. He was like, oh well, I have to like, I have to like some stuff to do. I can't really. So it's the second one that is disabled. Yeah, yeah the second one that's disabled. And so once you yeah. brought her up, he didn't want anything to do with. Yeah, okay. and then my mom, she was like trying to get them to come over to my house the second time, or not even come. I think this time they were. My mom was trying to get my uh, disabled sister to go to church. Okay, with us, and I was like, "Yeah, she can come. Of course, she can come." At this point, I'm like, I'm not all the way for certain on like what they're, you know, going on. Yep. And they were like, um, "Oh, well, there's like not a lot of room in my back seat. Um, I can't really." When, when in retrospect, there was enough room to sit two children. Uh huh. You know, even if we couldn't bring her special car or a special uh, wheelchair, um, we could have left that. I, I know how to pick her up. And so I told him that. How old is your sister? My sister is currently nine years old. Nine years 2010, old. 2010, she was born. Well, can I just tell you something, brother? God loves her deeply, and Jesus loves her deeply, and Jesus would openly embrace her, as would anybody that is truly sincerely following the living man christ jesus what that's going to produce in them is a love for your sister and so 100 percent. I, I, yeah that i mean that sincerely grieves me it 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 literally just makes me want to break down and cry that and and listen i know again like we've already talked about like these guys are sincere i don't I don't feel like they're knowingly you know they're they're deceived you know these members yeah, are it, deceived but it it it's just so telling about what this group is. And like, yeah. you could have, you know, it's First Corinthians 13 where he says, we could, you could have all knowledge, all you can know all prophecy, you can have all discernment, but if you don't have love, it profits nothing. And so that nothing. one thing right there, and, and the significant thing about this is this isn't the first time I've heard that. Like I've heard that on multiple occasions that wow. different, not just your church, this isn't, this isn't just a description of your specific church in your area. This is something that's, that's, True, widespread. it's widespread in the World Mission Society that they there's a pattern of them rejecting the the handicapped, rejecting yeah. a certain type of people that they don't think are good enough, 
Let me tell you one story real quick. Yeah. And this and this it puts it puts a it puts a foot stamp on what they're teaching, especially the youth. How they're brainwashing the youth. Mm-hmm. So we went door to door preaching, right? And we were out preaching, and they're gonna they're gonna if they're watching this as right now, they all know who they are. At this point, it's like a you know some of this stuff keep it in there because I want them to know. Yeah. Um, they. So we were door to door preaching, and we it was a lot of like mentally disabled people in this general general apartment area. Okay. I think I said gender wolf, but we're going. We're going, we're we're gonna going go to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with it. Gen, general, general, yeah. general. Yeah, there you go. Area. We can help each other uh, out. <laughs> there we go. Um, yeah, general apartment area, and we had knocked on this door. That it, this man came out, and he was like, he was special. And he shook when he shook went to go shake our hands. He just like he spazzed out. He was like was going crazy, like uh, like uh-huh. like for a long time. And he like wanted to keep repeatedly shaking like he took me and uh, me and his hand. Okay. And um, it came to the point where I noticed that he didn't want to shake his hand no more. But he was like like trying to preach to the person who wasn't the most special in the back. Mm-hmm. And I'm, 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 I keep my hand out. I'm, I'm shaking your hand until you decide that you're done shaking yeah. my hand. Yeah. I don't care if this takes years. You're gonna, <laughs> I'm going to shake your hand until yeah. I go. You're going to get this thing finished. <laughs> yeah, we're going to get this finished. And he was just kept shaking my hand. And I almost broke down in tears the fact that every time that he point, put his hand out to shake his hand, he was like, oh, yeah, like, uh, God bless you. And like, like, uh, like denied it, basically. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, wow, like, that's, this is, this is, this is, this is, this is too much. Yeah. So, it, when was this recent? Well, recent experience. This was like, uh, I think, like three months ago, four okay. months ago. So, yeah. so kind of what I'm hearing is what you're telling me is, from your bird's eye view, like you're right there in the midst of it right now, walking in the midst of this of uh, the World Mission mm-hmm. Society Church of God, and and what you're telling me is that what you're seeing displayed within the church is a lack of sincere a love. lack. It's a, it's a it's a lack of how do I explain this? Because when he after we were done, it's like he was in 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 their terms, he was worldly, like mm. he was of the world. Because he was like, did you see that guy? Like he was like, keep like keep shaking my hand. I didn't I didn't feel comfortable because you know he's like I don't I don't remember specifically if he said retarded mm-hmm. or you know mentally disabled. I think he said retarded. And okay. I was like, yo, just say mentally disabled or say special. That's what they are. They're, yeah, I said say special because that's what they are. They can't be preached to. Like me me still you know, trying to be like lighthearted. I was like, they can't be preached to. You know, father and mother hasn't, didn't want them to be able to be preached to. They're special. You know, they, they have some special, you know, something going on. Hmm. So when we got back to the car, our older brother, he was like, he said, he said the word retard. And I just... I wanted to him to stop the car. I, that, that went on the way. And I was like, I really wish that he would just stop the car. As soon as, like, if we hit a red light, I might just get out and walk. Wow. Because that just because upset you so much. That that upset me to the point where I was, I was, I was beyond getting, you know, this ride back to, back to go to their church. Yep. Yeah. So it was, it was, but, be, it was beyond, you'd say, that, that just moment of how they responded to this guy in the moment, but even carrying on after they left. After they left, after they like, left, they're sort of dogging him a little bit, sort of just yeah. like this guy. We're like a we're better than him. Yeah, sort of mentality. Like it was like it was like wow, like because um, I think I heard, I think it was you that said it. Like, it, like it feels like a race. Hmm. And it, like I don't know how they took it. Like the mentally, like the special people were like they already lost. Yep. Type way, like I. That's how I felt. Like they felt. Like oh, like the mentally disabled, like they just they're already lost. Just let let them let them go. Like that's that's, okay. that's how I felt. Like how they felt. Yep. And I I that 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 worried me. Okay. At that point, that that worried me. But it yep. was it was just those two. I didn't want to take it out on everyone else. Okay. So I just like left it alone. I was like, man, like uh, there's a certain things that like people shouldn't say. Again, kind of to, to tie up that part is just like again, I just say like that's. 
there's so many places in the Bible where, you know, like, like Paul and Jesus say, like, talk about how love is the fulfillment of the law. And so, yeah. like, I'm, I'm just kind of saying this to members that I know will be watching. Like, is you it, can. It was you that had the books. Yes, we it got the, was we you have a handful have of books. books. Yes. <laughs> okay. Okay, you did your research on this then already, huh? Yeah, we're, I mean, we're trying. I mean, our, our yeah. heart isn't just to, like, hear a few things and then just kind of start making yeah. random videos. Like, we want to understand how you guys think so that we can 100%. give, like, good answers. But, yeah. Um, yeah, it's just... I actually, I appreciate that. Yeah. Because, you know, most, you know, because um, even, like, the college that, 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 that we, you know, hold some services at, they, uh -huh. they, like, they took some of our words and they, like, said the point that you know and it's a lot of like pressure on people at yeah. the same time yeah like like no one not everyone wants to be walked up on and you know yeah hey you ever believe in god or go to yeah. church at all some people you know, are hey, ready for that like, yeah some yeah. people are in a hurry some people have things to do with their life you know when you when you stop and you ask someone you know hey you like to believe in god or go to church at all they say no i'm busy there is no point in you saying anything else after that besides like, oh man, God bless you. Like, uh, I'll, I'll go ahead and like leave. I'm sorry for like disturbing you. Not, you know, it's really important to your salvation that you really like listen to the word. Oh my goodness, like mother is like coming soon and my father is coming soon and we should just like baptize, baptize and you should yeah. be. I'm like, oh my. I, and, uh, I, don't, I don't like that. Like, that's, the unfortunate thing too is, is those people that they are convincing into the church because you know again this is something we're hearing over and over is the stories of people who have given you know jordan young we just interviewed him and 15 years of his life that was given over to this thing uh, yeah. people that are like abandoning careers they're abandoning hobbies exactly. they're abandoning family they're abandoning relationship yes. and, and just kind of in a moment these guys are convincing them to come into the church get baptized um, and set them on this trajectory of life all based on ultimately based on a false interpretation of the Bible. Um, and it's it's morally, for me at least, my my perspective of it was, I, I, at this point, I don't know who Father is, but if he's almighty and he's coming soon, I don't want to be in the crossfire of this. I'm scared, you know, of God. So if this, I don't want to say that. Because I can see, I mean, yeah. you know, I haven't seen Jesus, but I know that that's Christ. That's God. Mm -hmm. So and I, I'm seeing Christ on some home on Google and everything. I, I can say that this man, that's the, that's what that's what throws me off. I can say this man, he was a man. He was a man. He died. He died. He died. He was born to and human he, parents. He was never resurrected. Never. There was no resurrection for Never. Him. There's no accounts of miracles. There's there's no there's no evidence there's no evidential reason to believe that he is actually Christ. Jesus on yeah. when he was on earth he was consistently saying, "Look at the things I'm doing. Look at the miracles." And sometimes exactly. he would sometimes he would go to the point of saying, "Don't ask for signs," but he would do that only after he had already given signs. And the reason he rebuked people for asking for signs is because they're asking for more signs when he had already miracles. given them and, enough and signs, favors. right? And so I, I think what I'm saying is like Ong Song Hong, he did nothing to, to make anybody right. in the outside world actually believe that there's reason to believe he's God. But Jesus was constantly healing people, bringing people back from the dead. He was making a, a clear display that he was God in human flesh walking on this earth and he's doing you. things so that we can believe it. And you know, their, their, their rebuttal for that would be, you know, well, Mother, they came to fulfill prophecy, not... Uh, not you know go above and beyond. They actually came to live as man. Yeah, that's what the that's what the rebuttal for that is. So, they, they, yeah. came, they came to live as man. So why would they have to do this? Mother is Almighty. Mother is all all being. She doesn't need to uh, conflict herself to look. This is this is where the the the, the side gets too gets double standarded. That wasn't in the word. That's okay. So, we'll just make up words in this video. <laughs> This is where things get double-sided in. Yep. And they say mother's almighty, mother's all being. She doesn't need to conflict to human standards. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Mother's almighty. She can do whatever she wants. She does not need to 
subside to human standards. Uh-huh. So why is she here? Yeah. With this, what, she needs to sit here, yeah. and, and if we, because this is this is where like they the reasoning behind why we why they are like this is because they say like we murder God, we try to murder God initially in heaven, and that that alone standpoint scared the crap out of me, because it sounded correct. I mean, in a sense, if we were all cast out of heaven, along with Satan, would Satan try to do? So that that was the, that was the I felt like the brainwash tactic that they had. It was like you know you killed God basically. Like huh. you know, it's, your, it's your fault. That so an, another uh, guilt trip sort of. Yeah. Thing. So, so like, going back kind win. of going back to kind of what you're saying about mother and and so you're saying they use that kind of as an argument to explain away why there's no real miracles, there's no real evidence. You know, it's kind of like in my mind, I'm like if if Yahweh God is in the flesh in Korea right now, like why. Why is she not like clearing out hospitals? Um, why is she not, uh, you know, and further than that, here's something interesting. I don't know how, if you've heard this, but I've heard testimonies from the mouths of members, former members who talked about how they've gone to Korea, South Korea. I think in past videos, I've said North Korea, which I'm correcting myself on. It's South Korea, yeah, it's okay. um, but they've gone to South Korea to, and they've seen mother. They've actually been able to meet her they've like sh- sh- shook her hand if that's even allowed i don't know but they've talked yeah, to her and in the in the, in the in the beginning they make it sound like it is forbidden forbidden like, okay they they make it seem like it is strictly prohibited for anyone to see mother but then as soon as you're like entering church you're like well you know some people go and see mother like, yeah. from time to time and then you realize like that's false. Like there's a lot of people in Korea that see mother on, on a daily, daily basis. basis. And here's yes. the interesting thing is members who have gone and they've seen her and talked to her. Like she, she, this is one thing that came straight from the mouth of a former member. They said, she asked them, what's your name? And like, what, what do you do? And so why is that an issue? Well, here's, here's two huge reason why that's an issue. One, this is their mother right this is their mother who's saying what's your name what do you do like uh, i mean the i don't have to tell my mom what my name is or what i do for a job like yeah. she's like that's her greatest passion like she can't get enough of like she knows what i'm doing she's following it on facebook and she's like if i share something she's the first one to share and like and yeah. comment and like my mother <laughs> knows exactly what i do and like yeah. for, so on the one hand like so your mother and i'm again this is something i'm saying to members like you're following this woman in korea you're calling her your mother there's evidence that shows you she doesn't even know your name she doesn't she's not even aware that you exist right now and you're giving your life to her like that's a problem on the other hand this woman is supposedly god right she's god in the flesh well god should know everything god should know ever god knows everything jesus when he was on earth um he knew, uh, like, like he went to meet one of the disciples before he had ever met them, and, and it talks about how, um, I think it's maybe Philip or one of the disciples, but he goes to meet him and he says, before we met, basically, like, I saw you under the tree. And so Jesus was, like, even able to, ha- he had a knowledge of people. He was able to know their names. When he met the woman at the well, um, yeah. he started describing, like, you've been with multiple husbands and the, the man you're with now isn't your husband. So not only did he know all about his own disciples, he knew about people he had never met that weren't even following before. him. Yeah, but yet 100%. mother living in Korea doesn't even know her own devoted followers' names. She has to if ask, I, what do they do? My initial reaction was to try to defend her. I was like, yep. wait, well, in her defense, I was like, uh, wait. So I'd want to hear that. Like, I want to hear as a, I know you're, I, I wouldn't even at this point call you a member because I know member. I know you probably are getting to a point where you don't even want to. You're you're trying to get out. I don't I don't want um, to be there. Um, yeah, it's, it's an uncomfortable situation. Yeah. The only reason why I'm staying at a neutral ground is because of the simple fact that I work with these people. Right. But let's just let's just for the sake of this video, you are still currently technically I, a member. And so I, give me mm-hmm. after what I just said about that. I want you as a member to defend mother. Okay, um, you know there's a there's a lot of things like 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 I'm gonna say it once again. There's a lot of things in the Bible that needs to be prophesied um, and testified through you know the works of her, and one of those things being isn't that 
Okay. What, what what is the what is the factors of uh whether knowing one person's name? Mm-hmm. You know, she's like like how they would say, you know, she's almighty. She doesn't the one thing that she doesn't really need to focus on is the fact that she knows your name. Okay. So have so, you heard this argument before? Is this kind of more how you've processed it? This is kind of more of how I've processed okay. it. It's not it's not a, a straight fact and honestly, actually they literally I feel like I feel like they like they set they set up these things like because they actually have this thing called countermeasures hmm. and like like for people who want to rebuttal we would have a rebuttal for them okay and so it's like a it's, it's like a war it's okay like a, it's like a it's like this a is their war. this is kind of their defensive strategy so so in essence what you're saying is mother is here on earth now because she's here for the purpose of fulfilling specific prophecies yeah her knowing the names of every person isn't isn't really related to fulfilling those prophecies and so yeah. don't worry about it yeah, yeah. okay yeah, well can i tell you this can i just tell you this that's a terrible <laughs> argument that's, that's a, a terrible ter- argument <laughs> i mean it's horrible it's a horrible argument yeah, okay that because i mean for one thing argument. for one thing when jesus was on this earth two thousand years ago he yeah. was here one of the specific reasons he was here was to fulfill prophecy he was here yeah. to fulfill many prophecies, and he did, like thousands, I think. And so Jesus was here, but yet he still knew people. He, he didn't, he, he still had the ability by the Spirit to tap into uh, the knowledge of God and to know things. He knew, again, he, Jesus knew, Jesus knew the, the, the facts, the details about the woman at the well. He knew. Yeah. I bet. I bet he knew her name. I bet he he knew all sorts of things about her. He even knew um, before his even own forthcoming. He, yes, he, right. He knew before he was going to come. Yep. And there are certain things that I think in his humanity he describes that he he limited himself and he did not know certain things as he walked on this earth as a man. But yeah. you know, I think one of the biggest things is that you know the World Mission Society members are so passionate about calling her mother and and talking about her as if she's their you know their mother this this they act as if there's this relational uh connection there and and so i'm I'm just saying speaking personally like if i walk if i was following mother and i went to visit her she didn't know my own name well like aren't you don't correct me if i'm wrong again but you guys pray to her right you pray to mother yes okay yes well wouldn't that if you're praying to her and then you go to visit her and she doesn't know your name to me, that's confirmation. She's not hearing your prayers. If, if she's hearing you pray, well, she's going to know, like if she's a bit able to hear you pray, well, she's obviously going to be able to know who's praying that prayer. If she's praying not even prayer, able to even wow. know who's praying that prayer, like how's she going to answer? She doesn't yeah. even know like, oh, somebody just asked me to bless them and, and give them strength. Well, who who was that? Who asked me that? I don't even know. Which one of y'all? Yeah, which one of, which one of y'all said it? So, um, and, and, Here's some more rebuttal. Okay, yeah, <laughs> bring it. Here's some more because I actually see that you have a lot of actual knowledge, right? And here's their rebuttal Hopefully. for that. They would say, "Is man's knowledge God's knowledge?" Is man's knowledge God's knowledge? Can you explain that maybe a little bit? So, in, ch- in choppy sections. Because I'm I'm a fool, you know. I don't, you know. I put myself over no one. Uh, yeah. know, honestly, even before the church, you know, I was I was the person who I always stuck my neck out before. You know, I did what I had to do. Yeah. At the end of the day, so like I don't know anything. But you know, as soon as as soon as like you go to ask a question, it seems like they refer back to I don't know which part of the Bible. I'm not. I know all the books. But the tree sure. of the knowledge yeah. of good and evil is that way? No, no, no. It's more of like uh, the wise man. Okay. Something about the wise man being the biggest fool. Okay. And the person that thinks they're wise. Yeah. Yeah. The, in their like, own like eyes. As soon, yeah. As soon as as soon as as soon as a, a, a worldly person goes to yeah. speak about something, yeah. it's like you know, yeah, like, like you're filled with like a lot of wisdom, yet you're blind to God. Okay. So basically what they, and I've run into this, I run into this all the time on Instagram with members commenting on YouTube, members comment on my videos and I'll, I'll reply and I'll give them like, I'll just give them scripture. I'll give them biblical evidence and facts that show mother God is not true. Like it's not taught in the Bible. And so 
what happens is like it's it's obvious they have no reply because what I'm saying is true. And so what they do, because they can't reply to it, because they can't defend their position with the Bible, they just have to resort to saying, well, that guy, he's just he's just blind. He's just he's, he's just one of those who's, he's wise yeah. in his own eyes and he just can't see. So really what that is, is there's philosophical fallacies is what they're called. And I don't know the name of this one, but it's it's this is a like in, in technical terms when when there's like a, a legitimate debate going on and one person is winning the, over the other one, like one one response to a person winning over them, one uh, like a, a poor response basically, is that they respond to the other person's winning the debate with just kind of insults and name calling. Yeah. I think it's maybe called basically, name calling. It's, it's basically, basically, basically like they have nothing uh, to say, uh, so they're gonna, uh, just start, they're gonna just start throwing rocks. Yeah, um, it's chi- it's like, really it's like, childish. You're shooting, you're shooting arrows at this point yeah. to the person with the shield. It's kind of like, basically. it's kind of like, like I have, I have kids. I've got three sons, and so like if they're in an argument or something, and one of them's winning, like maybe the older one would probably usually be the one winning, and he's winning, like, and he's well, like, "Well, you're stupid." Yeah, yeah. he's like, "Well, you're just a doo doo face," you know. <laughs> and it's like it has nothing uh, to do with the I conversation. Do that, it doesn't. I do that with my little sister all <laughs> you do? the time. It's like yeah. she'll she'll go on a rant about, uh, you know. You know, mom said this. Mom said that. I'm like, mom's wrong. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, well, you're stupid. I'm like, well, <laughs> mom's still wrong. Yeah. <laughs> mom's still wrong. So it's you're like, stupid. it's just one of these things where when you don't actually have a reply to give, you don't have biblical evidence to support your position. Yeah. You don't have it. So you're just going to say, well, you're a doo-doo face. And that's, <laughs> e- that's the equivalent to what the World Mission Society Church of God is doing whenever I, I just give the Bible. Like, honestly, I'm interested in knowing what, what the Bible says. That's all I care about. If the Bible yeah. teaches Mother God, I want to know. But I 100%. sincerely, genuinely, I go into Genesis, I go into Galatians, I bet, and, pretty, and I don't see you it. You probably have seen these before. You know, have, do you have a new song book? Um, a new song? I don't think I have one of those yet. I have, okay, hold on. I have like five or six books, but that's not one of them. Uh, hold on one second. Okay. This book? Nope, I don't have that. Hold on one second. I know you're going to have to do a lot of editing with the blurring. I'm sorry. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm not worried about it. This is. You can decide you don't want to blur your face, too. and just We'll just make this yeah. thing public. We got your back, bro. Got you, man. <laughs> I love you, dude. This is. I don't know if how good you can Teachings see. Teachings of it. Mother. Okay. Teachings of Mother. Yep. Okay, yeah, and Jordan mentioned it's, those. It's 13 cheap teachings. And then in, in the back, they have the, the Ten, Ten Commandments. Commandments. Okay. Okay. And so I'm going to just read off some of Mother's teachings real quick, if you don't mind. Yep. Um, it's, they say, and these are, this is like what I felt like if it was honest, this would be a good code to live by. Mm hmm. Uh, I mean, like, like for Simon Stasher, you know, it is more blessed to give yeah. love than to receive, you know, as God always gives love. And, you know, it says, you know, being arrogant is wanting to be served. Hmm. You know, uh, though, though others don't work, you know, we should not complain about, we should not complain, but do our work faithfully. Having the mind of a master allows us to work with pleasure and ease. Like, it, it's just simple stuff. You know, when we praise our brothers and sisters, the praise returns to us. Hmm. You know, so, you know, when you take that yeah. and, you, and you apply that to the world, yeah. it's like, you know, when, 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 when stuff is going bad, you know, you shouldn't, you shouldn't really complain about, you know, every little, you know, detail or increment of what's going on. You know, even if you see, you know, someone, you know, that's, you know, messing up in terms, you know, you should, you know, go, go compliment them, go, you know, tell them, you know, you're doing good, keep up the good work, even if you don't like that person, yeah. even if that person's, you know, upset, that's how. I, that every day when I woke up, I'm like, this this just feels like a, a, a tactic to get people to do good hmm. while giving them money at the same time. That's it. That actually leads me into one of the questions I wanted to ask is, is kind of based around um, what, like, the Bible is very clear. The New Testament is clear. Over and over, it will say you are saved by grace through faith. So grace, meaning that Paul will just go, like, he couldn't make it any more clear in Romans 4 where he says um, that salvation is something, it's a gift. And a gift is something like if I if I give you a Christmas present and then I say, okay, now um, 
if you want to keep on, if you want to keep this present, you need to make sure you go and witness and, and go out and preach the, preach every night and you gotta you gotta go keep sabbath and you gotta do this and this was that a gift that i gave you or was that That a transaction that is not a gift that is a coercion tactic to me coercion yes and it's a transaction right it's like i give something to you and you repay me with something in return i haven't even gotten that gift yet yeah and so (laughs) exactly right you still have that gift. exactly doing everything that you need me to do that's dude that's right on and and that's why man that's why we're making these videos because that's not good news the gospel what jesus taught is good news because it's you're saved as a gift like i i'm like i i still struggle like we all do i still you know me and jesse sit here and all all the time and we talk about how weak we are and and we're not just saying that to sound cool or to try to sound humble like i'm weak if you saw the things you know i struggle with i'm just a broken man like all of us are what what is good news that this bible teaches me is that romans 5 it says while we were still weak christ died for us while we were still ungodly that's when god says i love you and i accept you and i embrace you before you do anything for me yeah. i accept and embrace you and, and so that's the gospel it's we're saved we just simply receive that we trust in that and then god says you're a son i accept you now like i'm not waiting to give you the gift you already have salvation you're already wow. counted righteous and, and now the good works that you do we should do good works of course we yeah. should go out and live that but it's it's now it's uh it's based in something like it's based in hope and joy and peace like I'm doing good things. I'm going out and evangelizing and preaching and I'm going to church. I'm reading my Bible, not because I'm hoping someday maybe God's going to give me the gift, but because God's already given it to me and that produces so much joy and peace and love in my Amen. heart. So that's the gospel. And so my question with all that is, is that the message of the World Mission Society Church of God? <laughs> you know what? It actually... It is. Okay. But to a degree. Mm-hmm. It is to the outside world looking in. Yep. But to a man who has seen multiple sets of variations of different religions, I've countless religions. You can name a religion that you think I probably haven't heard. It's nine times out of ten I've heard practice. Okay. And, yep. and, and did all. And it so you, you tried time. it out. Yeah. yeah. And... The, this one really stuck with me, but then you know, there's like things that just don't fit. Uh-huh. Even, even, even where it goes to, like you know, not not saying it, you know, literally, but you know, forget the Bible. Let's sit down and let's actually, you know, speak. Let's see how everyone feels in the room. Mm-hmm. And me being the outcast honestly that's how i felt the whole time while i was in this thing okay um i felt like i was the only person speaking from my heart it felt and and they think i know they mean it from the heart just simply because that they were programmed to mean it from the heart yeah program you can can program a robot to love yes but it feels robotic that robot's not going to love you genuinely. Everybody it just does it to. I, if I could, if I could show you how many times I'm, I've heard that in the past week from members sending emails, former members comments on on YouTube and stuff. So you're not alone in feeling that. I've heard those words like robotic. It felt robotic. It feels like their love feels fake. The good works they're yeah. doing feel like they're not sincere. It's like they're just programmed to do these things. So because even even when. <laughs> The people that I work with, they go to school. Like some of them go to like college. College that is up here. Okay. And nine nine times out of ten, the people who you go to college with is working with you as well. Yep. So I've ran into actually some people who've known these people before. All of the you know what Mr. Society. Okay. And boy, when I tell you the stories that they had in store for me was hilarious. Hmm. Because, you know, before all of this, you were, uh, you were a gangbanger. You were a, you know, and, and that's good. Like, you, you're you not sad no more. You know, that's good. You're not, you know, smoking weed, yeah. like, you know, doing all this stuff no more. But you, you're doing all this. And now you, it's like you, you like, just like said, hey, how are you? Yeah. It's nice to meet you. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's really, you know, good to, good to, good to, good to, good to air, 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 you know, oh, oh, it's really good to see you. 
<laughs> it's nice to meet you. This is how it felt set up. Because nine times out of ten, for me, everyone who I've asked, what was your first study? It was Bible as fact. And after that, it is, ah, oh man, I, I can't even remember. I've done so many studies in the short span of it. They, it oh, man. But the, I know that the first one is Bible is fact. In that, in, in that, in that study, it, it's a, it felt like a setup to show you basically how they're correct. Okay. And that is a, a, and that is a leading point as to how they're correct. Okay. So... Maybe I just want to clarify what I'm maybe hearing from you because I asked you like about um, is it a, a gift, like is salvation a gift? And so kind of maybe what I'm hearing from you is that on the outside they'll teach that salvation is a gift, but in practicality and like how that actually walks out and how the members function and probably even in how they relate to God, it's not, it's not so much a gift. Is that what you're saying? It feels like, you know, it, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't really want to be around a bush. Yeah, I seen a video the other day about you know a lady you know talking to to a woman she's like telling about they like like to be around the bush. So I'm not. I don't feel like I'm doing that right now. I'm, I feel like I'm doing that right now. Yeah. I'm trying to not be around this bush. Good. Um. It yes, it is, but I can't speak for everyone else. Yes. No, that's good. Yeah, I, I I really I don't want to speak for no one else. I'm speaking genuinely just for me. For me, and how for, and how I went through this and what my experiences was. Okay, and what my experiences are. Um, it 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 was like it was like seeing a whole bunch of people, you know, saying you know I don't judge, I don't judge, but I'm gonna judge you. Yeah. Okay. And I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm not gonna say. I'm judging you right now, mm -hmm. but I'm going to ask you certain questions that just make make you question yourself. Hmm. That's exactly what they do. Hmm. They like like I I play video games. I listen to music. I I want to go have fun with my friends. You I like wanna, to you sleep know. probably like the rest <laughs> of the human beings. <laughs> <laughs> I like I like to sleep. Yeah. <laughs> and and that was one of the biggest issues like every Sabbath. Yeah. I'm falling asleep. I am a sleepy person. Uh-huh. So, you know, they were like, you know, you should really stop listening to music. You should really like stop playing video games. You should really stop doing this, doing that, doing this. I'm like, but uh, I like to do this and that yeah. and I like music yeah. and I like video games because they make me feel happy yeah they make me not feel upset with yeah. life yeah and I can pick up a bible and, and you know you know read some scriptures and feel really blessed that Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior mm -hmm. at the end of the day He's, he's not. He's not basing whether he's going to save you on whether you played a uh, video game or not, or, well, or you had a you had, an, you had an enjoyable ten minute nap. You know, yeah. Jesus like, took a nap. I bet he. I bet he enjoyed it. He took a nap on the boat. He fell asleep. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> he fell asleep. Jesus fell asleep. He fell asleep on oh, the boat. Oh man! You know what? I don't want them to say anything to me because you know what I'm gonna say. What's that? Jesus, Jesus fell asleep. <laughs> <laughs> and so, Jesus, man, Jesus like, fell asleep, man. it's it is it's fun to laugh about these things. And I like I'm I'm doing this like again. I'm speaking to members, like not to like insult or make fun. Like I I'm just like it's it's just um, something that as we're talking. It just begins to draw out the so yeah. so many issues with the, with the group and with what they teach and just practically how they walk out life with each other and all of it. What it does is it boils back down to showing that you know if if the fruit is bad it, the, or if the tree's bad, then the fruit's going to be bad. Um, yeah. you'll, you'll know a tree by its fruit. Okay, and what 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 is being constantly displayed? Like we could argue, you know, we. Could, we could argue all day with members about what the Bible teaches about prophecies. Does this prophecy teach that this or that? But at the end of the day, what's being constantly 
sh displayed in the mass majority of the World Mission Society Church of God, the churches all around the globe, is that it's producing bad fruit, strange fruit, like like um, judgmentalism, like you're talking about, like, like a metallic fruit. Yes, like a, like a, fruit, a, a robotic a, a fruit with a made fake from fruit. A machine. Yes, empty. It's empty in the Processed center of it. Fruits. Yes. That's that's exactly what yeah. it feels like. It feels like, but I can I can in in defense, uh, not strictly from them, but yeah. just like just you know from from you know the 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 interactions that I've had, you know I can say that they don't mean it. Yep, I totally and agree. I, yeah, and I don't mean to make them sound like they're dumb in any way, shape, or form, but they are haven't they don't know yeah they don't they don't exactly. know any better exactly and that's what like i they've want been, yeah they've been bred for it even even the exactly the, the little brothers and sisters like i can see like how they, they're like they're filled with like a a, a drive to want to just go have fun yeah i bet you if you told them we don't have to go to sabbath they go bonkers they love it yeah but it's like they're being programmed. Hmm. Even like one of the one of the little brothers that I was always around, he you know he plays he's on Snapchat you know plays video games and he's like doing all this stuff. I'm sorry to send you out. Um, <laughs> you know he does all he does all these things, plays basketball and stuff like that. And he's a good person. He's he's fun to be around. He's only like 13, 12, mm -hmm. and he's fun to be around. But as soon as you bring up this, it's like. He's like he's trying to like pro, like hold on, hold on. this is this is how I see it like whenever you bring it up he's like yeah, yes I'm I'm here yeah. sorry I'm back wow <laughs> I'm back yeah. yeah I'm back I'm sorry wow it, I snapped back into to the world again I apologize yeah it's, it's me wow so it's, it's man like it's like this pressure it's so much pressure to it's, it's, to perform it's, it's, it's a performance it's like you're not you're not you're not taught to actually walk out life as who god created you to be like that person you're talking about i absolutely believe you when you say that's a fun person and i believe he's a fun person because god created him to be that way and so when god calls him to walk with himself he doesn't say now get rid of all that funness Get rid of your personality. No, like God gave him that personality. And he wants you know, him to that? walk, walk with God and walk in life and joy and witness, but be who he, God has made you to be. And that's that's how you're going to be a light in this world. When you yeah. stay in the you stay in the midst and walk in who God created you to be. You don't try to become something that you're not. Right, one of these that. one of these again goes back to represents the true gospel. The other represents a false gospel that says if you want God's if you want God's favor, if you want salvation and blessing in this life, you have to become something that you're not. The Bible says God makes us. He's made Dang. us who we are, and he just calls us to walk over and over. Think about this. Over and over in the New Testament, I'm going to let you talk because I can tell you're getting excited. Yeah. <laughs> over and over in the New Testament, what is Paul constantly saying? Every epistle almost, he's saying you're children of God, you're sons of God, you're children of light, so walk in the light. He doesn't say like... You're not children of light, but you better try to behave like children of light. Like, you gotta, oh, you gotta try to become children of light. He says God has already made you a child of light. It's something that we rest in, and something that God has already made us. We don't have to try to effort and exert ourselves to like be something that we're not. Um, so you agree with that? I agree a hundred. Oh, let me calm down. Let me bring it down a tone. <laughs> I agree with you a hundred percent. It's not something that needs to be manufactured. Manufactured, and you know, honestly, I'm not trying to sound racist or anything, but you know, the, the whole stipulation that it you know comes from you know Korea, and you know, I've heard Korea is like a really strict state. You know, they mm -hmm. play the violence and stuff like that. You know, they beat their children into submission mm -hmm. and to make them into a straight path of yeah. this person yeah. who the parents wanted them to be. Yes, it sounds like that. Has, it's like a. It's been infected. influenced. It's infected it is, the church. The fact it like it, yes. it went it went haywire, and the fact that you, I seen the video where you said that they, uh, at least I, 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 if I remember correctly, that it was you because I watched a lot of videos this one day, but your video stuck out to me, and I was like, I must email this man. Okay. But it was where the Ahsung Hong's child 
himself doesn't yeah doesn't follow yes follow what yep. you know, Mr. Society is saying yep he's still in the NCPOG I think yeah and if anybody yeah would know anything about anything it would be him, him. yes exactly I I strongly I I don't know if I could speak to you know your viewers right now do it I strongly advise for An Song Hong's uh, son to come and speak. Hmm. Come and come and say something to this. This I feel like he could cut it into all of this. That'd be fascinating to hear from his mouth, wouldn't it? That would be. You know what? I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm gonna figure out some stuff. I'm gonna see if I can even be able to get in contact with him because yeah. that that would blow the cat off of <laughs> everything every crab hidden under that rock would just scatter yeah what and what does this be, guy think about his dad yeah what, what do you think about your dad yep that would be the simplest answer yes that would be very fascinating to find is, out is your dad god yep and, and he's gonna say no because he's not even a part of the church that you know was I think no, because even when you look online, you see that there was there was a point in time where it wasn't the Wellness and Society Church of God, mm -hmm. and there wasn't no new covering Passover Church of God or whatever, however they, however they call it. There was just I think Church of God. Yep. And so, it where 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 it diverges. There was people who believe that you know, there's people, and this is where things have to get put into place. Because there was a person who was like, wait, this and this and this and this, oh, he must be. Yeah, he must be God. Yeah, he must be God. And he and, and I think it was Jew Chol Kim. I always forget his name. I think that's his name. Really, he's general, general he, pastor. Yeah, that's a general pastor. I would say he's from what I've researched. He's more seems to be more so the official founder of the WMS COG in, in many ways because Ong Song Hong never claimed that he was Christ. He never claimed that he was God. Obvi I mean, and I know members most mostly probably are aware of this, but he he's called himself Elijah. And so they'll take it and say, well, yeah, he was Elijah and there's prophecies about, you know, and so setting that you off the side. You can't say Elijah was God. <laughs> yeah, you, right. You can't say Elijah was right. Jesus Christ. <laughs> That's a problem. But there, There's an issue there. Yeah, while we're, while we're on the subject, let's talk about Ong Song Hong for a minute. I, I'm curious what your thoughts were because in, in the most recent video, we talked about his book and the book where, which oh, members man. members obviously are aware, and they I know they have rebuttals for what I, we I, talked about. I had no clue. You didn't know about that of book? this book. Wow. Because when you, when you were saying it, I was like, is that the brown book? The book? Yeah. The nope. Book? There's Visitors of Angelic World. There's uh, there's God's Children or something like that. If yep. my sheep hear my voice. And then there's the Feed My Sheep. Yep. I was like, what book are you... Oh, at, at that point, I was like, oh, this man must not know what he's talking about. <laughs> but then you pulled up, you, you was pulling up things, I was like, yeah. oh, no. Yeah, and you can no you, you can go to the official WMS COG websites, like multiple of them, and they, they acknowledge the book. The book is called Problems with New Jerusalem, the Bride, and Women's Veils. And so the church is aware of this book. They they don't deny it. They don't deny that it exists, and they don't deny that Ong Song Hong wrote it. It's it's crazy because they yeah. they deny it in the church. Do they? They, they don't have it. Yeah. I, I have never seen this book at all. Yeah, and isn't that a strange thing? Like think about this. Like you're like second coming Christ, God the Father who came back in flesh and wrote an entire book. Like man, if I was following him as my Christ, I would want to get a hold of that. And so, I would want that book. I want that book now. Is there a way that you can, like, you know, copy by copy? I want to get that book too. too. I don't actually have a physical copy because oh, I, I don't think there's actually English translations that were mm. ever in print. There's just there's there's his English copy translations of his his words. Yeah, right? it's it's his words. It's like people have like ministries that want to help people get free from this have gone and translated the book from Korean into English so that you can actually see his words. And so just so you know, they they do have arguments. So they're aware of the book and they acknowledge the book. 
what they will say is something along the lines of, like, basically, he argued against Mother God. Obvi obviously, Ong Song Hong did not believe in Mother God. And, and, and the interesting thing is every, you know, Genesis, uh, Galatians 4, Revelation 22, all these key passages that the World Mission Society uses to prove Mother God, he actually took those and said, these don't teach Mother God. And he argues for the, the the interpretation of those verses in the same way me and Jesse argue for wow. them. And so what they'll say to that is is he was just addressing like a a like a, a problem that was going on in the church at that time that this woman See, was now, coming to be mother heard, and he had to take yeah, care of it. I heard that. And, I heard yeah. that. And I think I don't I don't remember where I heard it from. I think it was one of the uh, missionaries that told me. Okay. He was like um he was like yeah like and this woman like she she went around even. Oh, no, it was, I think it was a study. It was the fact that, you know, we have to discern the real from the truth, and they actually brought her into the mix yep. of being, but they didn't bring up the book. Okay. They brought up the fact that, you know, even the father had to come in uh, and put a, basically put a halt to it. Put a halt, yes. Because it wasn't, it wasn't like the right time to reveal that truth. To or reveal, yeah. yes. Yes. So it, here's, it wasn't the right time. Do you want to, do you want to hear how that be. argument is completely demolished? Go ahead. So this is in the preface, which I so am so angry that we didn't put this in, in the last video about Ong Song Hong. But in the preface, as he, as Ong Song Hong set up what he's about to do, so he has this whole book devoted to disproving Mother God. Th this is what he says. I just had this pulled up. This is in the preface. This is Ong Song Hong's own words as he's about to he's uh, they explain. I, oh, the preface? Yeah. He's about to. I was asking, what, you, what is a preface? Yeah. What is is that not? I don't know. We're making up words, remember? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so here's yeah, what he preface. says. So he, he's about to give this argument for why Mother God doesn't exist. And he says, um, this book is published to stop the trouble, troublemaker at church, namely those that misinterpret the Bible and act like a religious fanatic, also to explain the errors of the books published by Um Suen. And so this woman, Um Suen, Um Suen, however you say that, this woman was claiming herself to be Mother God. So he's saying, I'm writing this book to refute that, those claims. And then he says this, here's the significant part. So I'm writing to refute those errors and to testify the unchanging truth of Church of God. So what he's writing about in that book, Ong Song Hung himself says it's unchanging truth. So in this book, he says, Mother God does not exist. He says, Genesis, or he says, Galatians 4, Revelation 22, these verses that people might use to prove Mother God. He says, these verses don't prove that. And he says, that's an unchanging truth. Why that's significant is because the World Mission Society will say, well, yeah, Ong Song Hong said those things. He said mother doesn't exist, but that was just for a certain time. But now it's changed so that that truth isn't the same now. Or, 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 or now that doesn't apply. But Ong Song Hong himself said, no, what I'm about to tell you is an unchanging truth. The way I'm interpreting these scriptures isn't going to change. So all that to say, Ong Song Hong okay. himself agrees with me that mother God does not exist. That's crazy. You know, I have never... I've never heard that. Yeah. I've never, uh, and I believe you 100%. Yeah. Because I felt like, I was like, how, how did, if he was Christ, how did he go about these, these, um, what's the word for it? These incisions. Uh -huh. I'm going to say because I forgot the actual word. Okay. These, um, yeah, these incisions that he was not Christ and he was not God. Uh huh. But I, I, I think I came to, wasn't it, isn't it the realization that, you know, after he died is when he became Christ. Am I correct on that? I believe so. I believe, yeah, I don't, I don't think it was in his lifetime when people started saying that because most likely he probably would have he probably would have denied it he probably would have said no that's he probably would have wrote a book like this proving yeah. why he wasn't and i bet the fig tree prophecy the the, the vidic the prophecy yeah, uh, i bet yeah, he i, like I bet he would have came afterwards yeah i bet he would have gone straight to those and said you guys are getting it wrong like this in no way proves that i'm christ like you're getting exactly. it wrong um and so i don't agree with him in his doctrine i think he taught some false stuff but i think in a lot of points, he agreed more with me than he does the modern day World Mission Society because he denied the existence of the mother. And he said that denial of her is an unchanging truth. Wow.